Howdy, it's old Fletch again. I'm driving down I-44, headed to towards St. Louis. Got to go to Chuck's Boots. See if I can sell him some stuff today. And when I'm out here by myself, I think about my dad a lot. All the times we had, and all the stories I've heard about him before I was even around. And he was quite the character. He was just an old Ozark hillbilly. Loved to hunt and fish and tell stories and pull jokes on people. But one thing about dad, so I don't know how this ever happened, but he always had a deputy sheriff's commission. Kept me out of a lot of trouble too. So can y'all imagine that? But um, so I don't know what sheriff that started with, but you know, I've heard lots of stories about him and Vernon still, that they were old buddies and run around together a lot. And he'd ask dad to come help out with stuff if they had something big going on in the county. And, and, um, and so I think that's how it started. And, um, you know, that drove my mother crazy, him having that deputy sheriff's commission, because he had that thing pinned inside of his billfold somehow, one of them old flip billfolds. And, um, and you know, I, I don't know how many times I was with him when we got pulled over, and, and mom sometimes would be with us too. And, and the cop officer would walk up there and ask for his license and registration, and he'd just flop that old billfold open and right there laying on top would be that, that badge. And, you know, every time the officer would say, oh, you're a deputy sheriff? He said, yes, sir. Been one in Barry County since back in the 50s. And every time it would get him out of a speeding ticket, it'd make my mother so damn mad because she'd get pulled over and get the ticket every time. And so that, that was pretty funny. But one time, J.D. having that deputy sheriff commission got him in more than he bargained for. Well, I guess it's back in the 50s sometimes when Dad had the bait shop. Oh, late 50s. It would have been in the 60s. So probably in the early 60s, there was a bank robbery somewhere. And I don't know if it was in Warspurn or Seligman or Cassville, but one of those three, it was somewhere around there. And these bank robbers, they had taken off and and uh, left from like Seligman and headed towards Rowan River and went off down the OCC road. Finally, they got off down there and I don't know if they'd wrecked their car, run out of gas or what, but they abandoned their vehicle and they took off out through Mark Twain Forest. And so, uh, you know, Bernie calls dad, said dad, or JD, we got a problem. We've had a bank robbers up here in town and, and we're chasing them and we have found their car and we got a bunch of bloodhounds out here. And he said, I've got one extra bloodhound that I don't have anybody to lead out through the woods. And so uh, dad said, well, I'll be right there. And so dad met him up there off CC Road. He wasn't far from there when he had the bait shop there at Eagle Rock. So he got up there and old, uh, old Vernon had this big old bloodhound and um, and everybody else, you could hear them out in the woods and them old dogs just obeying and, you know, a barking and tracking them old bank robbers. And, and uh, he said, J.D., you got one little area here I still want to check out. I think might be the way they went. And, you know, old dad's getting to thinking now, scratching his head. He tells me this story later on, you know, that maybe I got into a little more than I bargained for. You know, old J.D., you know, he wasn't the toughest fella in the world, but he could convince you he was. But he, he didn't want no part of that. So he's trying to think, how can I get myself out of this mess now? So old Vernon gave dad one of them old dogs. And that old dog started dragging him off down off one of them old hollers and dragging him through the green briars and about ripped his hat off his head. And old J.D.'s like, oh, hey, what is going on? And he got over close to two or three of them other ones, you know, where they had a dog and they's all come together. Dad said, my oh, Lord Almighty, there's them bank robbers right down here over the hill. And dad got nervous and he, he finally said, he said, I jerked back on that old dog. And I said, come back here, you SOB. You know, he didn't go that way anyway. <laughs> and old JD turned around and headed up the hill. <laughs> and so that's the story with old JD and the deputy sheriff commission and chasing the bank robbers. So, Old Fletch is out. Hope y'all have a good day.